Hi guys, um, just wanted to do a quick video um, to talk about my experience with the low traffic neighbourhood scheme this week. Um, it's impacted me quite badly yet again. Um, so I've got an elderly relative who is in hospital in Archway. I'm having to go over to the hospital on a daily basis at the moment. Um, and unfortunately, because of my current circumstances, I am quite reliant on having to get taxis. Um, one of the issues that we've been experiencing since the LTNs were first implemented is we are finding it very, very difficult to book cabs at the moment. Um, a cab driver yesterday actually told me that because we had been stuck in traffic on the way back from Archway, he was reluctant to take another Tottenham job again um, because it's not worth their while financially to take a fare that is in the range of 10 to 12 pounds that should take no more than 20 minutes now takes double that time um so cab drivers are now very reluctant to take Tottenham jobs but this evening was a whole new ball game um I left the hospital at quarter past six I stood outside in the freezing cold trying to book a taxi via the app um driver after driver after driver cancelled on me um and then after about 15 minutes of non-stop cancellations uh the app then cancelled my entire journey and wouldn't let me attempt to rebook for whatever reason so i've tried to use another taxi app and exactly the same thing has happened <laughs> every single driver cancelled and then the app cancelled my journey so i decided to give up the ghost and i went off looking for a cab office after about 20 minutes of walking around, I did find a cab office. I then had to go to a cash machine to get money so I could pay my cash fare. Um, and that fare actually cost me £20. Um, the fare usually on the app um, between the two areas is somewhere in the region of like £11 to £12. Um, at peak hours or during train strikes, it can cost a lot more. And I have had the higher increase in fares this week. Um, but to pass the part with £20 to do what should have been a journey costing £12. Because I couldn't get a cab in the traditional way using the app, um, yeah, that was pretty grim. Um, I've managed to get home now. Traffic wasn't too bad, but it's really annoying because I'm trying to book an app where they give you the option to have an electric vehicle, but electric vehicles are not um, exempt from the low traffic neighbourhood scheme, even though the LTN is there to help reduce and lower pollution. Um, so yeah, so cab drivers don't want to take Tottenham jobs and that's resulted in me then being stranded at Archway this evening for nearly an hour. Um, whilst I was wandering around trying to find a cab office, um, I did witness a mobile phone robbery so I'm a woman, I'm out on her own, it's dark, it's late, it's cold. Um, I'm trying to get myself home in the quickest, most safest way possible. And that way was not available to me. And I then had to go and try to find a cab office. And I just think it's really ridiculous. So um, I'm making this video in hope that, you know, one of our local councillors will see this and will take on board the fact that people who are heavily reliant on cabs, which I am at the moment due to an injury that I've got and also given the circumstances I'm under, um, you know, this is ridiculous. We can't get in and out of the area. You know, we, we feel like prisoners when we're in the area because we can't get out, because we can't get cabs. And when we're trying to get back in, it's, you know, becoming virtually impossible. Um, I'm now really reluctant to want to go back to Archway because I know if I go back, I'm going to have to rely on taxis again, and I then going to get stranded again. And I know a lot of people will say, well, why can't you use public transport? Um, at the moment, public transport isn't an option for me. Um, it can take up to an hour to get back, including a very lengthy walk from the station back to, to my house. Um, and I, I'm not supposed to be carrying out or, or doing any sort of long walking journeys at the moment. Um, you know, and also it's dark, it's late, it's cold. I'm a woman on her own. I don't really want to be walking through, you know, a dark and poorly lit streets, um, you know, in the evenings in an area that isn't the safest in London. Not that 
there is anywhere safer in London, but you know what I mean. So um, this is a message to Haringey Council um, to please look into what is actually happening with the taxi apps, why we're not being able to get cabs, you know, in a timely fashion, and to maybe have a look at tweaking the LTN to make electric vehicles exempt because most of the apps nowadays do give you the option of travelling in a normal conventional car or you can travel in a, a environmentally friendly electric vehicle. But electric vehicles are also not exempt from the LTN, even though the whole point of the LTN is to reduce pollution. It's yeah so this is what the video is it's a rant it's a rave i've become frustrated i'm annoyed that it's taken me nearly an hour to secure a taxi um and this is just something that i'm having to cope with on a regular basis now not to mention all the late deliveries delays and people getting to us and everything else that the lcn has heaped on us so yeah and i'm going to put this up publicly on my facebook page so if anybody would like to share this please do this needs to get seen